the Holy Ghost. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you Jesus. Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Blessed be Jehovah God. Almighty God, victorious, yeah. the most blessed, the uh, most glorious, yeah. the ancient of days, yeah. almighty, victorious, thy great, great name we pray. Amen. Thank yes. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I pray, God. Very good. You, you turn it on? Yes, sir. Okay. I pray God that as we've been coming and going, that something is happening in your heart. Amen. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Because one thing I know for sure, mm. the time will come, my 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 field of operation will not be here. Mm. A time will come that the demands on the, in, in the nations will call me out. And it will be once every while before I come back here to say the whole Ghost. That is why as long as we are together and we are coming as uh, you grow, yes, amen. it is the truth that causes us to grow. It is the knowledge of the truth coming to us in the spirit of the of the law mm -hmm. the holy ghost that applies the word of god to our heart mm -hmm. to read the word of god is wonderful mm -hmm. and is powerful and you must read yes Amen. but you hear the spirit of god bringing the preached word yes. in the power of the holy ghost anointing yes, that is different mm -hmm. that is different from reading it on your own. Right. Mm -hmm. See, because it said faith cometh by hearing. Amen. Right. Amen. Okay, even though you can read and quicken your, your faith, right. read the word of God. Mm -hmm. But there is a particular anointing that comes upon the preached word. Amen. That causes it to pierce through your heart and makes yes. it alive. Yes. Yes. Amen. See, the preached word, when it is heard, in the power of the Spirit of God. That is what brings, that is what brings faith, living faith in your heart. Faith cometh by hearing. Amen. And hearing by the word of Christ. Amen. By the living word of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Right. Now, as, as we've been going over and over and over, I have said over and over that John 15, is the heart of the Christian life mm -hmm. and the Christian walk. John 15, I am the true vine and you are my branches. Yeah, amen. That's it. I'm the true vine and you are my branches. Amen. Simply put, me and you, we share the same life, he says. I share the same life with you guys. I am the parent tree, and you are my branches. Amen. Everything that that happens to the branch comes through the parent tree. Amen. The parent tree prepares the food and passes it on into the branches. The branches take it, take take the sap in, mm -hmm. and then they begin to grow. Amen. Yes. So life comes from Jesus Christ. And as long as we stay close to him, yes, amen. We stay connected to him in our fellowship, in our communion with him, in the word of God, in its meditation, in prayer, in fasting. Yes. Always opening our heart to him, we cannot but grow. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can't do otherwise but grow. Mm -hmm. You can go to church and not be growing. Mm -hmm. Amen. You see that? But you cannot stay close to Jesus Christ in fellowship with him and not grow. That's right. Amen. You see that? Amen. So, so Paul says, God is faithful. First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9. God is faithful. Who has called us? Right? Who 
has called us unto the fellowship of his son. Just one verse, one line, that's it. God is faithful. Who called you to the fellowship of his son, Jesus Christ? He didn't call you just to go to church. That's right. He didn't call you just to sing in the choir. Mm -hmm. He called you to commune with Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Because he is the vine. He has the living waters. Yes. He has the bread. Mm -hmm. So if you are going to get something to nourish your being, to nourish this life, you must be, you must stay vitally connected to him. Mm -hmm. okay, I can't, I can't stress this more, you know, more than I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I say it every time. Amen. Life is in Jesus. Yes, yes God. Amen. You need Jesus' life to sustain you. Yes. Joy is in Jesus. Mm -hmm. You need Jesus Christ, okay, to release His joy in your being as you stay close to Him. Yes. yes. Love is in, in Christ. Yes. You need to stay close to Him so that you can get some love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, God. See, peace is Jesus. Mm -hmm. You need to stay vitally connected to Him to have peace. Yes. Right? Now, Peter says something. Peter says something here in 2 Peter. Okay, chapter chapter 3, the last verse. The last verse of 2 Peter chapter 3. He says, but grow in grace. Mm -hmm. Not just go, just be going to church. Grow in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Period. Right. Grow in grace. And in the knowledge. Now, if you stay connected to Jesus Christ, what Peter has said here must not be too hard for you to uh, want to walk in. Mm -hmm. Amen. What Peter just saying here will become your portion. Because in knowing him, you grow. Amen. In fellowship with him, you grow. And you grow in grace. The presence, the, the, the favor, the strength of Jesus Christ increases in you the more you stay close to him. Yeah. How I wish believers would stop all the foolishness and start being serious with Jesus Christ. Yeah. How I, I wish believers would be done, would be done with the flesh life. The flesh life that they so cherish. And start walking in the spirit life. Amen. Because this life is spirit life. Right. Okay, what Jesus brought is spirit life, not flesh life, not natural life. Right. But as long as you are hanging on to the natural life, you will not grow in the spirit life. You can go to church all you want to. Okay, it is as you stay in fellowship with Jesus, mm -hmm. as you stay daily. In with Christ and in Him, that the Holy Spirit opens your heart, okay, and starts working in your being to cause you to grow. Mm -hmm. right. When you are growing, okay, you start to realize that these things are happening, mm -hmm. especially your language. I said before, your language starts to change. Mm -hmm. You don't talk earthly things no more. You start talking heavenly stuff. Yes. Heavenly reality start coming, becoming real to you. Right. Amen. Instead of earthly being consumed with the earthly, you start seeing, wow, this life is different. This is spirit life. Amen. This is life. He came to give us life. Amen. And you can't talk garbage anymore. Amen. You start talking Jesus. Yes. You start talking the, the word of God. Amen. It becomes natural to you now. Your natural life as a believer is not is not your your the natural life your father gave you. Amen. Your natural life, hear me now. Your natural life as a believer, as you walk with Jesus Christ, becomes the very life of Christ. That is what becomes natural to you. Right. Yes. It replaces the flesh life. It replaces the natural tendencies of fleshly desires. That's what happens. When you are growing, 
then you are dying. Amen. 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 Yes. Ooh, because there has to be death. Yes. We saw it last night. Mm -hmm. There has to be death working inside you. The, the death to self life right. has to be happening before you can be growing. Because if, if, if the self life, you know, who is the center of the self life? You. <laughs> Not Jesus. Okay? So how is Jesus going to live inside you and then the self life still controls your life? You see that? So if Jesus is going to come forth in your life, then something must be died. The old life must be dying. Yes. It has to give way to the new life. Right. Now, is it not is it not the, the, the law of, of, of planting and 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 and, and sowing and, and and harvest? What you sow has to die mm, right. before a new life comes in. Mm -hmm. Death must happen. Before life can flourish. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Death to the self life. Yes. Yes. Death to me. Mm -hmm. yes. Me was never the center of, 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 of life. Me was never. It was God. Right. Right. Adam didn't know me. Adam knew God. Yes. God was the center of his life. Until disobedience came in and then me came to the ah, forefront. Jesus. Why did God say, Thou shalt have no other God beside me? Mm. Who, is the, who, who is the God that He said, Don't have no other God beside me? The self life. <laughs> He's the only, only God that, that competes with God. <laughs> He's the only one that fights against God, the self life. Mm -hmm. We worship me, 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 me. Jesus. Get out of me and come into Jesus. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Allow Christ to nail you to the. Listen to me. Is you cannot partake of Jesus Christ like you ought to, okay? If you are still dragging the me life along with you. Right. For you to come to the full glory of this life and its power, you must be crucified. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Why is the apostle Paul so mighty in the things of God? Why are the apostles so mighty? They were crucified to the self life. Mm -hmm. They died. They didn't live for self. They didn't live for the self life. They allowed Jesus Christ to, to, to crucify the self life so that he can come forth. Okay? The life, there is, you see, there, there is power. I forgot even to, I got so happy I didn't even, I didn't even do what I'm supposed to do. I've been saying some good stuff, and it's all gone down. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Ooh, yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Father God. See, the self life is the number one idol. The chief idol and the chief rival of God. But God will have no, no rivals. Amen. Amen. No, God will have no rivals on the throne of your heart. No, you will not share your heart with another God. Call me. <laughs> I said God will not share the throne that you gave to him. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Right? Didn't you come to come into your heart? Mm -hmm. you, you, you did? Amen. And you think you're, you're going to come and, and then share your life with you? Did anybody read the Rich House Intercessor? Yes. Did anybody read that? Yes. Yes. You ain't read that book, man. Boy, you ain't read that book. <laughs> <laughs> Rich House Intercessor. The Lord told him, play. If I come in, you must go out. Yes. <laughs> If I come in, I'm not coming to share your life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you hearing that? Amen. I'm not coming in to have you.